Hello, sleepyhead. <laughs> I was wondering when you would wake up. Okay, it's alright, don't move. I wouldn't bother, I prefer pretty much taped you up to the bed. No, I haven't blindfolded you, I've um, turned off the lights. I've been following you for quite some time, you know. I'm guessing you knew someone was looking at you. Someone was watching you. Surprise, that was me. <laughs> you know, I would love to take that tape off your mouth, but I can't risk you screaming. You are an amazing person. You're funny, you're energetic, kind of cute. You never seem to know it's me. You can't even seem to recognise my voice. But then again, I can't really tell, can I? Not with the fact that you can't actually speak. <laughs> but like I said, I've been following you for quite some time. You just really, really fascinate me. The way you move, the way you talk, and how much you care about people. Aside from me, of course, you didn't never seem to notice me. How do you feel when I get this close? Being so up close and personal. Do you like it? And I hope you do. I'm saving the seductive voice just for you. Oh, and um, if you're wondering how I got in here, let me just say that your parents really should lock the doors and shut the windows. <laughs> They'll be gone for quite a few more hours. And the reason I know that is because you're not the only one I've been watching and we're keeping an eye on the family's activity so I know they won't be back for a while I mean, you didn't go because you're not feeling well some sort of bug, they thought wrong you see, on an occasion when you were at a coffee shop I slipped a little something in there just to make you a little unwell so that way you can join your family for this gathering that way I could have you all to myself <laughs> I really wish you could see the fear in your eyes right now for me it is such a turn on right now I can't tell you how do you feel about having my breath on your face? Being this close to you? <laughs> oh, I actually bet you'll really, really like it. But, I don't know. And another reason I gathered you is because I don't need you to tell me anything, do I? Not with me following you. I am seriously infatuated by you, amazed, bedazzled, there are so many words I could use. All you had to do was pay attention to me, and you never ever did. It's not like I didn't try that way first. I mean, you have seen my face before. Another reason why I didn't actually blindfold you, there's really no point if you've already seen my face. But the best thing is, after all this, you won't be able to, to identify me anyway because you never paid attention, did you? Oh god, you smell so, so good. Hard to tell what that scent is. God, 
beautiful scent. It would remind me laying this close on top of you on your bed, but there's no chairs anywhere and I actually kinda like being this close. But I think I'm just gonna sit here with you for a while. Straight your face for a while and just talk like this. Oh, stop flinching away. <laughs> Come on, I'm not hurting you. I never would. Oh, by the way, if you want to know how I managed to restrain you, it's because the extra drug I put in there was a strong sleeping tablet. So it made you feel temporarily numb for a while. But don't worry, I'm not here to kill you or anything, if that's one thing you're afraid of. I would never end this perfect little life that you have. But I will be staying here for a while. Might as well get myself comfortable. <sighs> so I'm just gonna sit here with you for a while. Admire this beauty. Reminisce and think all your qualities until of course your family gets it then I really have to go but because you live upstairs I'm gonna have to um, leave about 10 minutes or so before they come back and don't worry before I leave I'll um, knock you out just a little bit just make you a little unconscious then I can untie you and then you'll wake up and wonder if this was a big, horrible nightmare. But a big part of you would know it wasn't. <laughs> God, your body want this so comforting. I actually might rest a little bit with you, but I'll risk falling asleep and that's not something I want for myself. Oh, and by the way, I'll be, um, wearing a disguise. <laughs> and you're not even sure if that's going to be true, are you? That's a risk you may have to take. Because, of course, I can't risk being identified by anyone else. But, um, right now I'll just lay there. Because I like it this way. I just cuddle up to you, breathe you in for a little longer, hope you like that.